show that brings the University of Texas at Tyler to you. Here's the host of UT Tyler today, Brandon Noble. Thanks, we have a great show lined up today. UT Tyler offers many hands-on classes to prepare our students for the real world. Today we are looking at the Mass Communication Program. Our guest today is Amanda Black, a student in the program. Welcome. Why did you decide to become part of the Mass Communication Program here at UT Tyler? Well, I wanted to do some journalism and I wanted to delve a little bit into video and audio and I figured mass communications encompassed all of those things. Yeah, that does sound like a lot of fun. What, what's your favorite thing to do? Uh, I like to write. You like to write? Yes. So you wanted to do like screenwriting or write for the news or what are you looking to do with that? Um, really, I'm not too picky as long as it's more creative and not too straightforward. Um, you know, I'll get into journalism a little bit and then I'll, I'll probably, you know, dabble in some screenwriting. And so you're like, a, you, you, you want to do pretty much all aspects of it then? Yes. Awesome. That sounds a little fun. So tell us a little more about yourself. What do you like to do? Well, I like to play games. I understand you're a big Pokemon fan. Oh yes, yes I am. Please tell us, what's your favorite Pokemon? Agron, it's, it's Agron. Um, Agron is the coolest Pokemon in the universe. He's, he's a giant rock dinosaur covered in metal armor. You can't, you can't get much better than that. Yeah, does he have any special moves? Oh yes, yes, he has a special move called Head Smash where he fires himself at, whoa. Don't be one of the millions of people unprepared for the impending zombie apocalypse. I never knew about the serious likelihood of a zombie apocalypse until my friend Sam told me about the zombie apocalypse survival kit. Now I'm ready for a zombie apocalypse any day. Before the zombies eat it, use your brain and buy the zombie apocalypse survival kit. And we're back. Thank, that was a wonderful commercial break. So you were telling us about your favorite Pokemon, Agron, correct? Yes, yes. I use him in tournaments. Oh, what kind of tournaments? Online or actual card no, games? No, no. You, you, you go to this, this uh, building, and uh, there are a bunch of other trainers there, and you take your favorite Pokemon on your game, and you battle them with your team or favorite Pokemon, and you can win things. See, I'm old school, and my favorite Pokemon is Charizard. Of course it is. I like the flame type. You go big or go home, that's my motto. Old school, man, it's, it's the best. But I don't know any of these new Pokemon. I'm sure there's some cool ones. Oh yes, very, very much. I, I, start, I, I started to get the new X and Y game and I was like, oh, I don't know any of the Pokemons, the, the graphics are different, I'd be out of my sort. I had trouble adjusting the Pokemon Silver, so. Well, I have to say, X and Y gave us a new way to jump into the Pokemon game if you were interested in just starting. So, it's better than joining in Black and White or Diamond and Pearl because those games weren't very good. Really, you don't think so? What? No, I didn't like Diamond and Pearl. What What made them so different from the originals or Silver? They were a little too big, a little intimidating, and it was hard to tell where to go next. But see, with today's time in society, you can just get on Google and say, hey, where do I go from here? Just instead of trying to figure it out yourself. Yeah, but that's no fun. Yeah, well, sometimes your competitive side comes in, and you just want to kick it in the butt. That's why I go to tournaments. Oh, well, that's true. So do you use other Pokemons too, or just Agron? Oh, no, I use other Pokemons too. Um, I like Tropius, and if I had to pick a first gen Pokemon, it would be Bulbasaur. Oh, Bulbasaur. So you like the you like the grass type? Yes, yes, I do. Well, he evolves into some pretty cool t uh, uh, Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a uh, grass and poison. Well, that's all the time we have today. Join me tomorrow <laughs> for more of UT Tyler today when we invite Lynette onto the show. She will be hosting. Thank you for coming and have a wonderful day.